All right, my friends, my man Francis over at uh, Beat the Bush had a <laughs> an interesting take on the PG&E uh, turn off their power uh, to, I think, a couple million customers in uh, California. And Francis is an engineer. He should know better. But, of course, you know, they're easy to follow the headlines, easy to follow the, the drama of global warming. He blames it on global warming because PG&E doesn't want to have another a fire uh, what happened last year where they got sued because they somehow were responsible for the, the power lines falling on trees which ignited the kindling of the dry uh, trees that are in the high desert where it's well, california's a desert man it's going to be dry uh, if you don't clean it out you're going to have problems for fires but again francis as is the case for most people who are worried about global warming don't focus on the the actual the, the the roots of a lot of this a lot of this is just in terms of wildfires just forestry management uh the environmental regulations for forestry management have been extreme leading to this kind of wildfires you're always going to have wildfires man uh, the issue is for human beings to go out there and clean what's called a kindling uh, for downed trees and whatnot but unfortunately come on but we haven't been able to do so because of environmental regulations come on so anyway, so Francis wants to blame PG&E uh, for turning us off on, on global warming. More droughts. At least in terms of the U.S., there absolutely is not more droughts. We have, uh, in fact, it's, uh, we, we don't have that. So I, I, I don't know about California, but California's a dry place anyway. So the idea of having droughts there is not extraordinarily uh, high to me. That would be, they would have that. Actually, I think I was reading something where there is not, I can't remember what I was reading, but just the, the level of droughts are not anything more significant than historical. I always wonder about that, too, when you think about it. If, uh, if the ice caps melt, let's just say that, uh, what does that do? Well, it causes more water vapor, no? Because what's the biggest source of greenhouse gas is water vapor by far. So if the ice caps melt, doesn't that cause more water vapor? It seemed to me it would, uh, which caused more evaporation, and I'd turn around and cause more rain. I don't, I don't know. The whole thing is just odd. I mean, now, again, I don't know about specific California. I frankly don't care. I just know about what happens is everyone's uh, wanting to bang on PG&E. And look, probably deservedly so. I don't know. But if the issue is global warming, and of course the issue of global warming is what? Well, it's always going to be CO2. So the issue is with CO2, we need to turn the knob to the left a little bit to turn down CO2 to stop global warming. Well, you still think you're going to get your power, your electricity through just showing up one day, it just falls on your house. It's still got to be transformed uh, to uh, put through transmission distribution lines. It's still got to get your house from someplace, from some source. How are you going to do that? You're still going to have wires ah, that are still going to have trees falling on them. <laughs> That's still going to be subject to fires. It's uh, the whole thing is just. It's, it's like the, the government causes the problem, and we see this in student loans, we see in housing, and we certainly see in forestry management. The government, and it's, it's going to be healthcare too, what well, is in healthcare. The government causes the problem, and then people want more government to come in and fix the problem for which the government caused. And I just I was sitting there thinking, Francis, I don't know the guy. I mean, I like him, I enjoy his show. I don't watch it that much, but I enjoy his show. Um, but I'm just like, dude, can, can you take that noggin of yours and look a little bit deeper into this? Because you're falling hook, line, and sinker for the headline propaganda. Global warming leads to more droughts. Is that true? I mean, literally, if that is the <coughs> argument, hey, buddy, is there more droughts because of global warming? I would like for that to be answered. And if you actually look, you say, no, 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 no it's not. There aren't more droughts. What caused the Oklahoma you know, from a John Steinbeck's Grapes of Wrath, was droughts. Do we have that again? And that was the 1930s. Nope, nope. Haven't had it like that since. Grapes of Wrath, 1930s, CO2 was less than 300 parts per million. Now we're up to, what, 375 or something like that, 350, 400, and we have less droughts. And again, that would make sense to me. If global warming is the cause of droughts in more extreme weather, well, won't we have droughts in more extreme weather? And the answer is we don't. So anyway, PG&E probably should. And we have Georgia Power here. They're showing how it just, oh, I wish these utility co companies would just stop the facade of we're, we're green too. We want to support the environment, blah, blah, blah. And just say, look, 
you need cheap electricity, we're going to provide it to you. We're going to provide it to you any way we can to give you cheap electricity, cheap energy. That's the nuclear. If you want to do freaking solar farms, more power to you. You can say that. But enough with this saying, we're green. We're stewards of the environment. You think the environmentals care? They don't want you to live, my friends. They want you dead. Listen to what Hillary and Obama said. They want to put coal miners out of work. They want to shut down your ability to have a life. They want to do that. That's what they said. Uh, Liz of Warren, we're going to ban fracking on day one. So stop trying to play nice with people who want you dead. Say, we are going to provide you cheap, reliable energy. <sighs> and don't fear for that. Just go through and say, this is what we're going to do. And you don't have to be political about it. But don't try to go halfway because they don't want to meet you halfway. They want you not to exist. I just don't get corporate America, man. And, and the problem is, again, we got headline readers, headline propaganda. I oh, mean, Francis falls for it. Ah, it's just, uh, it bought his steaks the other way around. All right, well, Pablo just took his morning poopy, so I'm going to get out of here. I'll see you.